Hello and welcome to Nathan's Garage. I'm Nathan Kershaw and this is the start of a new project. Yes, it's a Vic. Yes, it's going to get chopped up. Yes, it's going to have something on it. No, I have no idea what that thing is going to be. And remember guys, if you'd like to support the channel by picking up any kind of merchandise, t-shirts, cups, stickers, anything like that, head over to Nathan's Garage and you will see a massive selection that Wifetastic has sorted out just for you guys. Now, Let's introduce you to the newest member of the Nathan's Garage family. Here she is. Come to Volvo Yoda's house. There's a cheap Vic near. It all goes to hell. Because if you can hear, she's a little tappy. A little tappity tap tap tap. Somebody's trying to get out. But we're going to hope that she's going to make it home. Because why not? Why not? Why not? We ask ourselves. The fan's on already. Fans, come on quick! So right now you may be able to hear the faint tapping of possibly a little man inside the engine called Bolt wanting to get out. Let's see if she makes it home. Transmission seems a little weird and maybe the diff's whining or maybe a wheel bearing. A little bit of noise in the back end. She though. <laughs> oh my word. Yup. So it happened. Oh, we're definitely getting there. We're closer. <clears throat> the little man's still trying to get out. I really want somebody when I'm stopped to the lights or something to um, lean out the window and go, your car's knocking. Because he's, you know, because he's really subtle. But... Oh, that's kind of painful. Not gonna lie, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's a little bit painful. I'm very intrigued to pull it to pieces and uh, I just see what, what's up with the engine. Very intrigued. It only knocks half the time, so that means it's half as bad, right? We'll scratch the paint.
where are we at you might be asking yourself again the doors are off as you can tell it's really difficult to film in here because everything's just so tight and um, so doors are off all doors are off and uh, i'm gonna do headliner next then probably take some roof off gonna take it in sections so the guys who come and collect the scrap can lift it into the trucks themselves then attack the back end a little bit making progress doors are so heavy okay let's get on music in the ears Was heavier than I thought. There we go. One semi convertible. The reason why I leave these so tall, oh, I just didn't chop through it. This is the adjustable um, seat bell mount. So I always leave these in there. So then I've got, if I want to use the Crown Vic seat belt, I can because it doesn't take up a lot of room in the house. So I can keep that for a while. But yes, that's the, the rest of it. So we're gonna roll it forward a little bit and start to work on the back end, trunk lid, and all that kind of stuff. Right, trunk lid's off, and ah, oh, the familiar sight of the Crown Vic floor. Okay, so we're gonna whip the bumper off, whip the lamps out, um, and then I think probably start chopping. Wife Tastic's on the business call in there. We have a plane, of course, so we'll get on it soon. Definitely want to say this is one of the neatest decommissioned cars that I have ever seen. This apparently was a CHP car, California Highway Patrol. I've had a Arizona car before and I've had an Alabama car. And they have just had thick chunks of wires coming down here and just all chopped and hacked. This is like, this is really neat. There's not, there's not a lot extra at all, anywhere. This is so cool. Okay, back end's all free of wiring and gubbins and I don't need those rear um, seat belts, so they're gonna go in the scrap pile with the rest of everything and all the wiring is out of the trunk. So now I shall show you where I tend to like to cut. So here you've got fuel pump wiring which can't be asked I'm doing but what's really easy is if you slice there slice there then this wiring can come out because you're gonna cut there there and there and then what I do is start around here and then run the blade inside here and it will take you all the way across the top of the wheel arch to the back of the car and then those are already cut the whole thing just lifts off and you're just going to go through the middle of the oh oh my word I'm going high up 
I'm going high up on the quarters right now just so it's smaller pieces to carry because it's rather heavy. heavy piece. Now, how the hell am I going to get it out? see myself driving down Sunset with the top down in this big old land yacht. Awesome. So we're going to take that rear end off and then that'll probably be it for today. Okay, let's carry on. Next, we have two body mounts, one there and one there that we don't need. Undo those two and then cut straight across here and I'll get rid of all of this floor area. Obviously not final cut, but just want to get as much of this scrap out. We can just add to that pile and get it all gone in one day.
Lined up the back end, good drift machine. We take this wheel arch off now. And you can see there's a hump right there. That is the body mount that I leave because I leave this panel in because that is the gas tank mount. So this side, all we've got to do is not chop through the gas filler. Easy enough, right? Oh no! That is where we are at. The Vic is officially a cabriolet. Convertible, whatever the difference is. Obviously, there's all this stuff's gotta come off. I just wanted to get the bulk of the stuff out on the street so the scrap guys can take it, hopefully tonight or tomorrow morning. But yay! <laughs> These are so much fun. It's a shame because the engine's knocking. I'm not gonna be able to drive it really soon with the body stripped off it because they're so much fun and they're really quite quick. Um, so yeah we'll do a bit more trimming and push the back end right up to here actually I'm going to chop it down shorten it because it gets shortened anyway and push the car all the way back get it up in the air and then we can start playing with the engine got to get an engine buy an engine crane and buy an engine stand and then we can start to see if we can fix the engine who knows well today definitely has been 50% art, 50% engineering, and 100% insanity. And if you like one of these t-shirts, go to nathansgarage.com and you'll see all the links to take you there. What an amazing day. It's good to be back on something familiar. Uh, we made good progress. Probably jump back on the mot tomorrow. Nearly finished uh, enough content for another video for that. Made some good progress over the past few days on the mot. So, this is the new one. Ow. See you next time.